Uh, yeah, I'm Remy. I'm 25. I use they, them pronouns. Uh, I, ident I identify as bi and pan and non-binary. Um, so I study uh, gender, sexuality and diversity. I've been taking subjects a bit less because of queer department stuff. Oh, so you're really actively involved in the queer department? Yeah, like I'm the queer officer. So it involves a lot of like events and supporting the queer students and helping counselling to host the Pride Festival. Um, and we've also like expanded the Pride Festival into two weeks. So then the second week is like for, for trans and gender diverse focus sort of week. TDLV is the 31st so then we made an event on the first to celebrate that and then we we're kind of like let's just have a whole week of it that's awesome and so um you guys are you're obviously very proactive in the in the gender space and do you feel like you're comfortable to express who you are and your gender and your sexual identity at uni yeah like I'm quite outward about it like I wear a binder pretty much every day and wear pronoun pins and like do eye makeup of like the sexuality flags. So the last one I did was the pa the pan flag. So yeah, I'm pretty visibly queer. <laughs> I feel like there's quite a bit of support. Like I've never really felt any sort of bullying or anything on campus about it. And like getting involved with the as queer officer, I was a little like concerned about how people in the student union would take it, but they've all been very welcoming and accepting of it. That's awesome. And how did you get involved as the queer officer? Like, how does that just, how does that happen? Um, so I started coming to Queer Chat, which is like a weekly support group thing that counselling runs. And then sort of from that, got involved with the queer department and then just decided to run for electorate. Queer department has helped me a lot. And Queer Chat specifically helped me a lot in my gender identity and sort of figuring that out. And Sab, who's the facilitator of it, like has helped me a lot be more comfortable with my non binariness and sort of having like like kind of a role model has helped me become more confident about it and decide that that's what I want. Latrobe's kind of played like a really vital role in you understanding and expressing and being comfortable with yourself and your gender identity and all of yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Like in my first year of GSD studies, that sort of made me realize that I wasn't completely cis. And I identi identified for a while as gender fluid and then being involved in queer chat made me realize that non-binary could be a thing. So like without those tools, then I probably would just still be thinking that I'm like a cis woman. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so like nice to hear. So you obviously you not only use the services, you are the services as well, yeah. which <laughs> I think is really great. And so how do you go about sort of advertising what you do and, and getting other students involved? So most of it's sort of Ad, like all our events are advertised in like a private Facebook group so then people don't get outed to like family members um, and then we have like more public events that are advertised throughout the uni so yeah it's kind of a mix of public and private. That's awesome sort of so it's like a total safe space for yeah yeah for people and I mean so obviously you're visible enough that people can um, if they're you know not out or they're struggling with themselves or they're not comfortable yet that you're still visible enough that they can come and find you yeah yeah but yeah we're trying to sort of find a happy median between that we have a queer specific counselor who identifies as queer themselves so not just like an ally counselor like they're very queer um yeah so sam brand has helped me a lot um this year with i've been struggling a lot with trying to decide if i should go on testosterone or, or not um, and they've been like helping me a lot with figuring that out and like answering my concerns and stuff. And like they have experience with like friends and family members who have gone on hormone therapy and they themselves are like gender non-conforming. So like it's felt very safe to talk about with them. Yeah, that's awesome because it's always a lot better having someone with this, you know, similar lived experiences to yeah. you. Um, especially in sort of like a, a very vulnerable like counselling sort of space. Yeah. And I think it's awesome that Latrobe offers that and has people employed to help, you know, you guys specifically. Yeah. How long have you been in the queer counselling? With Sam, about like a few months. I was seeing Davina before that, but they went on maternity leave. Both of them like have helped me a lot with my mental health issues and just feeling like I could talk to them about queer stuff, whereas I haven't felt that with other counsellors. Mm -hmm. I've been to several other counsellors over the years, but those two have like helped me the most. And I think a lot of it's because that 
they're queer and I know that we have similar life experiences and stuff. Just like check out your queer services at uni, you know, might be better than you expect it to be. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And you can make some really cool friends and, yeah. and hang out with like-minded people. Yeah. And you guys were saying before that you have like a book club and... Yeah, we have a lot of like regular events and like study sessions and stuff. And yeah, I think it just helps a lot of people with their mental health and like being able to study better just being around like a like a nice supportive group joy podcasts where you want them when you want them